Gorilla physics. Yeah. So uh, this is called a Rubens tube, or what you guys say. Ruben was the guy who invented it. It's basically, it's a bit like our air truck a little while ago. It's basically a tube, long tube, with lots of little holes in it. Okay? Little holes in the top. All the way up. You can see it's connected to the gas tap. Yeah? And I'm going to fill it with gas. And at this end, I have a signal generator. Okay? Signal generators make waveforms. Make electrical signals that are waveforms. And at this end here, this orange box here, there's a speaker. You all looked at a speaker before? You know what a speaker does? Listen, moves in and out, yeah, to make the sound wave. You'll hear it? Okay, and I can control the frequency of that speaker and the loudness, the amplitude of that speaker from here. Frequency controls the pitch, amplitude controls the loudness. Got the risk assessment, we know we're alright. Now what the Rubens tube is a really nice demonstration of is how frequency and wavelength are related showing the idea of compressions being a high pressure and rarefractions being a low pressure. And we're going to go through the range of the audible frequencies from the lowest frequency you can hear. From the book, anyone found the lowest frequency we can hear? Well, we'll work it out. All the way to the highest frequency we can hear. One hertz. Sound wave in air. Yeah? It's actually in methane, but 
You've got a region of high pressure, a region of low pressure. Region of high pressure, region of low pressure. Yes? Compression, rare fraction. Compression, rare fraction. Do it so quiet that we can't hear it anymore. There's some other really interesting physics to why, why the wave looks like that and does, why you don't get a wave there and you do there. But we won't go into that today. Right, now I'm going to go up all the way. Tell me when you can no longer hear it then, yeah? We're on 6,000. I've turned the sound, the amplitude down because it's not quite as annoying. 10, can you all hear it? Thanks for watching this video from Gorilla Physics. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you have, why not go ahead and subscribe. I hope you found it useful, so please tell your friends, and every like and share that we get helps us be more useful to more people.